I would guess that you enjoy travel. One one way I know that is because you are studying English. And as you know, one of the reasons to study a foreign language, especially English, is because it's spoken everywhere around the world. So it's a natural thing uh, to use for communication when traveling. So we all know about English being important. Uh, what else is important when traveling? Well, uh, if you look at uh, this lesson, um, it's based on some advice by a man called uh, Kevin Kelly. And I think he was like an early internet journalist. Um, he's done lots of things. But anyway, when he became, I think when he became 70, he issued lots of uh, um, things to know when you're 70. And he was really just talking about common sense and some things that he thought might be helpful for people to know. Uh, and uh, these are, I collected these because these are related to travel and I thought might be useful. In fact, I've used some of these myself on a recent trip to England. Let's have a look. Uh, in, uh, in, the, in the book, it has uh, six points. The first point, um, I like this one. Keep all your items visible in the hotel room. Don't put them in drawers. Don't put them under the bed. Uh, don't have them in separate places. Put them in a big pile in the middle of the room. I think that's brilliant. Um, of course, if you have anything valuable, you should probably give that to the front desk or put it in the hotel safe. But if you think that nobody's going to steal it, if it's just your just your clothes and a uh, map and I don't know um, I think you can put everything in one place this is really really good because you don't forget things I did this when I visited uh, England and I was staying at my sister's house and rather than unpack everything and put it in the drawers and then I'd forget something and I'd forget the charger or something you know I just put everything in a big pile in the middle of the floor I didn't forget anything as you get older it's easier to forget things but anyway uh, okay, number two. I like number two. Don't steer your life to avoid surprises. Aim directly for them. Steer, like steering a car. Some people want to avoid all surprises. Other people go looking for surprises. His advice is to look for surprises. I think this is, the, in travel, that's the difference between people who enjoy uh, um, cruises and um, you know guided tours. That kind of, I think that avoids surprise. It avoids danger, but it also avoids surprise. Um, the alternative would be to plan your own trip, uh, to go backpacking, um, to choose your own adventure. Maybe more dangerous, but more surprising. Anyway, he suggests that this is a better way to live. Aim for the surprises. You never know what will happen. Number three, don't buy extra insurance if you rent a car with a credit card. I think the idea here is that your credit card will pay for the insurance, so don't pay extra. I'm not sure if that's true everywhere. Maybe that's true in America. I don't know. Number four is focus on directions, not destinations. If you, who knows their destiny, go in the right direction and you'll arrive where you want to go. Uh, and this is a bit like the surprises one. I like this one. I like the idea. Head in a general direction. You don't know what's going to happen exactly. Um, so that might mean, you know, oh, I'm going to take a, a tour of America. Well, I'll rent a car and just start driving. I'll go west, see what happens. A romantic idea. Um, okay, number five, back up your backup. You know, if you back up something, you save a copy of it. So if you're taking photographs with your smartphone, make copies of them because you could easily lose your smartphone or, you know, have an accident. And all those pictures and memories and files and things that you've written have disappeared. That would be terrible. This is certainly true uh, when I was writing this book. I saved it on, I saved the manuscript on a, a thumb drive. And I also sent myself emails and I kept it on an, another computer. So there were three places so if one fails i can recover the documents that's good practice even for just things that you think are not valuable actually are very valuable 
photographs, records of meetings. Uh, by meetings, I mean meeting friends, diaries, things that you actually, when you're writing it, you think they're not important. But actually, as you get older, you really wish you had more of those photographs and more of those memories. Maybe. Finally, number six, when you arrive at your room in a hotel, locate the emergency exits. It only takes a minute. I guess so. I'm guilty of never looking at those emergency exit things, but it's one of those things. If you check, it takes 10 seconds to check, and that might save your life. So advice from a 70-year-old. Not, not me, Kevin Kelly. Okay, there are three questions for you to consider. Um, as well as the writing questions, there are three questions. Number one, which of these tips are specific to travel and which are good advice for life? Yeah, if you look at those, some of those are really just sort of life advice, not really about travel, finally. Number two, do you think it's a good or bad idea to avoid surprises? What do you think? Mm, it's a matter of opinion, really. And number three, where in the world would you most like to go? Yeah, that's interesting. Uh, of course, I'd like to go to England to see my family. But apart from that, I don't know. I'm not sure. Hmm. Maybe India. I'm curious about. Um, I don't know. Tell me what you think and we will uh, um, discuss it. <laughs> well, okay thank you very much and i will see you uh, another time thank you